Kiki Bunny, and before we get on to the thrift video, I wanted to do a Q&A, and I added that into my videos because I want you guys to get closer to me and understand me a little more. And this is my way of forming a relationship with you guys because I know that you getting to know me is really important, and this is why you guys love watching me. And I usually don't add a little Q&A, it's because I haven't really thought of it. I think adding a Q&A is going to be super helpful and super good content for you guys. So make sure you subscribe because this is what I'm gonna be adding onto my content for now on if you like that stuff and plus some thrifting because I actually really love thrifting and I'm still gonna post things that I really love this topic for the Q&A is my education journey and I have a few questions that I got from like my phone what was your favorite subject in school and why did you enjoy it so this is gonna be really interesting I had a few favorite subjects that I really liked I can't pick subjects for myself, but I'll give you the few that I like. My first subject was art. I'm an artist. I fuel from seeing art and really drawing and just doing stuff where it's creativity it has to do with my mind and using creativity and innovation, everything like that. I need that. So, and I was in arts academy, so we had field trips and I would actually skip class a lot in school because my art academy class had so many field trips. And I think it's important when you get to see things live. In my art academy class, we had field trips going to like museums and like operas, opera and music and everything like that and it helped me really dive in and feel immersive in that world of art and it really helped me influence me in my artistry and everything like that. Art was my favorite class. Another class that I really liked was ROTC and I'm an on-hands person. So ROTC was very physical and very like teamwork orientated and I really loved forming relationships because our teacher would have us team up and become like a family and treat us like really well. So I really grew from ROTC and really grew my skills and memorization because we had to memorize things and like actually do stuff and fun things like jogging together, going in a team and solving things. Like I think we did like a treasure hunt once and trained to do that. And that was really fun and helping each other like iron our clothes or like put buttons in our shirts. So it made me feel like closer to my friends in ROTC. So ROTC was my favorite subject and we were all nerds. I felt very in common with everyone in ROTC. And we were just like a really funny group, nerdy group to be in. And I felt very in place with being an RTC, I guess you can say. Ah, my other best subject that I had in school Cool, that I can't even remember. History, but the thing is that I wasn't good academically and doing tests. I sucked at it, but history was my third favorite because I get to listen to like the whole history and you know, things that is really candy to my ear because really I love listening things from the past. Very interesting. So that's one of my subjects that I really liked, but everything else, I was just not good academically. Like I said, I'm not like an A student. I know despite that I'm Asian, right? You would think so, right? That be good at school but I wasn't I would say I had a hard time focusing and focusing was the most difficult thing I would draw in class I did not get the best test scores and quiz scores so my scores in my class would actually plummet if I had an F so it was a big struggle for me in school and I hated seeing my score through the portal or the school portal where you get to see your grades and I hated that. That was the, the worst thing I ever had. And school made me depressed, but I got out of that and I got my way around it and I learned to appreciate school a lot through the subjects that I really liked the most. So I'm very blessed and grateful about those days. Can you share a memorable experience from your time in school or university? So I would say um, my school days, which is high school, high school to college maybe, I really miss the team effort we would have in school or I really miss getting to see some friends from time to time and really having no choice but to see people pass through and it's not like that anymore like everyone's so busy everyone has a family I, I miss everyone's faces and people getting to say hi to each other I think that's very memorable I think another memorable thing was having recess or it's not recess but we would have breaks at school and getting to like eat food or people would hang out I really miss that and there's just so many other memories that I won't say because I don't want this video
Julia to be too long? Did you have any teachers or mentors who greatly influenced your education path? Yes, I had two and this was in my high school and it was Commander Tanks from my ROTC class. He was so, he cared about me so much and the kids that he had in ROTC. You know, if we express like something that we're going through, he would take really good care of that. And I remember having some issues that I had at home and I got to share with Commander Tanks and he would give like the craziest good advice and caring advice. I miss that compassion. I miss that that feeling of it's like having an extra dad that really cares and I loved that very much and it was a huge influence on me and it really uplifted me in those times of high school that I had. And then I had another teacher that was super sweet and her name was Miss Johnson. She was a sweet lady who had a lot of faith in me and I remember I talked to her about my faith and like going through stuff and she really told me that I was a special person and oh it makes me want to cry but I remember just skipping class and going to her class because I felt like I wanted to talk to her and I knew I was gonna last in high school and never see her again. But having the time to talk to her was so much worth it, worth skipping class for. Her. And she had just the best advice. And I think she was real much older than me, like maybe in her 50s. But I love her so much and I wish I could keep in contact. I lost contact with her, but she's, she's always gonna be in my heart, you know, till this day. Okay, what was the biggest challenge you faced during your education? How did you overcome it? I hated math. And yes, I'm Asian, but I was not good at math at all. I had math class in high school and I actually had to go back. I think I had to have a special class because I just sucked at math. I forgot what the special class was, but it's for people that failed math. And that's what I had to take. I remember uh, before I had to take that special math class, I actually failed this one math class that I had with this teacher. Yes, that was kind of terrible. I would have tests and quiz and I would actually just guess throughout all the quizzes and tests that I had. So I purposely failed. I didn't even try. And so I would get F on everything. And my teacher saw that. And I think she noticed, but she didn't say anything. And also I didn't care about high school. I knew that high school or math wasn't going to do me anything because this is not something that I would do for my future or remember. Will this apply? I had that mindset. I had the mindset of, I don't give a fudge. But it didn't mean that I didn't value education. I just didn't care how the school formatted. How did I overcome it? I overcame it by just letting it flow. And like, and I passed high school, so I just kind of did my best. Out of all of those failures and everything, I still did my best and make sure I graduate. And that's all I cared about. But all the other stuff, I somehow passed high school, which is insane. I would have not passed if I didn't focus on those things, but I still wasn't like the best student. The last question is, how has your education shaped your career and personal growth? So joining Art Academy really actually helped me a lot the most in ROTC. Well, because of teamwork and everything like that, memorization skills from ROTC, but with Arts Academy, I had the opportunity to go to all these museums and these musical shows and going to see like uh, universities and colleges and everything like that. And it helped me to be immersed and really get to see an outlook of doing your dreams and really being a go-getter. So that actually till this day has really helped me really do what I do today. If you get the chance in your high school or college or anything like that, Go to stuff where you get to do stuff, get immersed and get to really learn stuff because you can learn stuff faster through doing that. So it made me actually understand my career path and growth a lot more through that. So anyways, let's get on to the thrift video because that is all the questions I have answered for now. And it's not as detailed as I wanted it to be because this is just a short Q&A and I don't want to be a, like a long video. But if you want to see more Q&As by me, follow and subscribe because I I will be posting Q&As or like answering Q&As um, more in my content. So let's get on to the video.
is all for thing for today. It was a long day and I didn't get anything from the Goodwill bins. I didn't find anything that I liked particularly. I find items sometimes, but sometimes I don't buy items because I don't really like some things, which is kind of crazy because, you know, you'd figure I'd buy a lot, but, and, and you know, the Goodwill bins is filled with stuff, but I just didn't find anything great. I just, for some reason, not today, but there was one day I just found a lot of good stuff. Just some days I find amazing things and it's a Sunday. A lot of people are like, you know, getting all the stuff and all the good things and I think I'm likely to find more good things when there's not a lot of people around. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to watch my next upcoming videos. If you like my thrifting vlogs, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Bye.